There is nothing new under the sun. This teaching comes from King Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So the thing that is, you know, we're going to forget, and then we're going to have to do it again. So I want to bring you the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 3, verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What I want to bring you to is Judea, or Judah, right? We want to remember this. Judah is, like, very important. And so we can go back to the book of Genesis, right? No new thing under the sun. We can go right back to Genesis, which is the beginning, and we find that our faith, right? Like, so it, it is based on Judah stopped his brothers from killing Joseph, right? Now, Joseph was to go into Egypt and uh, interpret dreams for Pharaoh, uh, get put up very high in Egypt to where he would have power and authority to save the entire house of Israel, right? So you see, Judah had, in the beginning, saved all of Israel by sparing his brother, right? When they was going to kill him, he was like, no, let's, let's just, you know, send him as a slave, right? And that decision saved all of Israel, you see? And uh, if you can recall in your scriptures, maybe you can't, but <clears throat> even... Uh, with King David, you see, the Lord made a covenant with King David saying that his seed would sit on the throne forever. So you must always remember, you know, the scriptures, they, 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 life is an endless circle. This is what King Solomon teaches us in the book of Ecclesiastes. So, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ, once he had got the spirit, when he said to uh, John the Baptist, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it become, becoming us to fulfill all righteousness, right? Because he the Lord of righteousness. That comes from the prophet Jeremiah, see, the Lord our righteousness. And so, you know, no new thing under the sun. Under the sun. All this stuff had been prophesied. And when the Lord Jesus Christ started teaching, he tell us, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So when the prophets tell us, thus said the Lord, you know, thus said the Lord, the Lord said this thing. He told them to go and prophesy unto the people his words. I'm going to put my words in your mouth. It's what is written in, in the law of Moses that the Lord said he's going to put his words in the mouth of the prophets. And so I, I look at uh, no new thing under the sun. So you get people arguing about the color of Jesus Christ, what he looked like. You know, you got all these graven images. The, the image of the beast is alive and well. It's already here, if y'all without understanding. There's a uh, abominable or, a you know, an abomination of an image that is floating around the world and has been floating around since, I don't know, when was uh old boy uh, Leonardo da Vinci when he come out with, with that image? Anyway, so but in the scripture it tell us in the second commandment, thou shall not take sorry, thou shall not make unto thee any graven image, right? Of any likeness of anything that is in the earth, in the heavens. Right, there's no man, no beast, no nothing. You're not supposed to have no image. So we had listened to what we was told because the Lord, He know all things. He know we'd be disputing, arguing, bickering, and getting lost in the sauce over this type of thing that we would never find righteousness, right? Because we'd be worried about what color a thing is or what it looked like and this, that, and the other. He said, "Don't, don't even have no images." But you're hard headed and you create an image. Now many people are lost. And racial idolatry, right? I learned this new word from a guy, and I like it. I do like it because, you know, you're putting a lot of emphasis on the flesh when we're supposed to be, like, living in the spirit. 
actually, you need to be careful with that. Like, you, you can't really, you need to understand you a spirit. I think it's important to speak truth, and there is a lot of lies being, you know, promoted throughout our society. But but don't get lost in the sauce. We we spirit. We supposed to worship in spirit and in truth. But I guess we need to have the truth out there. And the Lord tell us also, right? In the, his next verse, in, in Matthew chapter four, verse seven, it is written again: Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. You know, and, and and we we do a lot of that nowadays, right? So we disrespect his judgments. We don't keep his commandments. We don't keep any of his statutes, right? And so now that's that's tempting the Lord, right? Because he, he didn't tell us to do a thing for no reason at all. He told us to do a thing so we would have life and prosper and be blessed. So now we out the way, not doing nothing we told and we in sickness, you know, we in uh, poverty, and, and you know, we in, we in famine, and we wondering why these things are happening. But the Lord had told us to do a thing to prosper, and we do the exact opposite, and we praying to the Lord to deliver us. This makes no sense. He's not. He's, he's not gonna deliver us. He's actually, you know, vengeful, wrathful, jealous. All these things that are not being taught. That the Lord, he do have an anger. You know, I was reading in Ezekiel that the Lord would be comforted by your destruction. You don't never hear nothing like that. The Lord said, look, man, I'm, I'm going to comfort myself by tearing your butt up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, because I'm just tired of seeing you move the way you move. And, you know, if we look in our scripture, remember, no new thing under the sun. We can go back and say, look, when the people did this, this is what happened to them. You know, you got the Tower of Babel, you know, before that you got the flood with, you know, the watchers came down, you know, and then you get, you can go to what Egypt was doing to the people, you know, you go to uh, the house of Israel itself when they turned away and went into idolatry, you know, you go to what the Lord had did many people in the wilderness. So you got all kind of examples of how the Lord going to respond to a thing, you know. And so, like, it, it's like there's nothing new under the sun. I had did this before. I do it again. Right? Because the Lord created all things. And all things move according to his circuits. Right? Like the moon, the sun, you know, your your, uh, your weather patterns. They're getting a little off nowadays, which, hey, you need to be mindful and watchful because when the things don't, move according to their patterns, hey, you're supposed to be alone, right? But nothing new under the sun, beloved. Nothing. Everything that we think is our, I guess our, uh, we didn't reach the height of knowledge and wisdom and all these things. And, you know, you look back in Egypt and in Peru and all throughout the world, you see how these people built these structures. It's our vanity that makes us think that our intelligence exceeds their intelligence, right? And if we humble ourselves and look at what had went on, we might say, oh, whoa, we might have took a few steps back, right? In our morality, in our engineering capabilities, in our abilities to track the stars, in our abilities with mathematics and with words, right? Like all these different things that we didn't turn our backwards on, right? And they got a few people that use this technology to do uh, some wonderful things, but for the most part, like, I mean, you can't really do too much without your cell phone. How many numbers you remember? Most kids don't remember about eight or nine numbers. I probably got like four or five in my head. When I was in my teenage years, I knew buku numbers. But, you know, since the advent of the cell phone that we carry around, our knowledge then kind of went downhill as far as what's in our head. Now, what we able to access is immensely more uh, internet be off anyway you know like don't really get your knowledge from the internet that they be lying but beloved i tell you this there's nothing new under the sun 